Kansas City. It's the Big Dumb Fun Show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode, another edition, another three hours of the Big Dumb Fun Show. My name is Aaron. Absolutely, and we actually brought in some cupcakes tonight. Yes, I brought in some cupcakes. I went ahead and uh, stole the strawberry one. <laughs> now, where did you get the, the cupcake? These seemed like like decorative fancy pants cupcake. We talked last week about how you were a fancy pants, and this seems like I'm a, a fancy uh, pants a princess. Get it straight. Fancy pants now, delicacy here. I usually, w- the cupcakes I got for my engagement was from CeCe's Cupcakes, but I went to Tea Drops down the street because... Tyler and I have been oh, there a few we, times. We've been to Tea Drops, Gnur. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've been. Yeah, and their cupcakes are bomb, and I just felt like doing something nice for you guys. You got them for free, didn't you? You oh. had some sort of a Heck no, coupon. I'll show you the receipt. I'd rather not. One's a chocolate, one's not a getting, velvet. You are not getting reimbursed for your expenses I, at this company, man. I, I stole the strawberry one, but I don't know what this one was. She said it was it's some like spiced something one, and for some reason when she said it, Gnur popped in my head, <laughs> so I just got oh, it. Oh, it was it Old Spice. Something like that. You know what? We it's not as pretty as the Maybe other it was two. Latin spice. <laughs> we have a surprise for you as well. Or scary spice. Uh-oh. Tonight? Uh-oh. You're going to experience the full flavor of Uncle Rusty's pure pork salsa. We've got a couple bottles in here. And some chips. you can take home. So, some you can take home for, the, for the fam. More importantly, we have chips. We've got because chips. We had Uncle Rusty's <laughs> last week. We had no chips. No Somebody chips. had the nerve to suggest we put it on popcorn. Ruin the Uncle Rusty's. <laughs> who who would suggest such a thing? It, this guy. It was not me. It was Jeff. I know it was. But, so we're going to have cupcakes and... Salsa. Salsa. Please don't put We should salsa really space the these out just a little bit, uh, though. But no, hey, I, I was uh, looking to the feed. Saw you were at the Voodoo last weekend, or what was going on there? I was at the Voodoo? There was a picture of you posted at the video. Oh, my gosh. That was... How long ago was that? That was a few years ago. Did you see how skinny I was? I need to get back to that figure. I didn't see any difference at all. That's why I thought it was last weekend. No, I actually, this past Thursday, I did a a 30-second little promo for Saji International, and I think they just posted it up to bring the hype again. Because over Labor Day weekend, that following Monday, they're starting to do these Monday night parties at the, I think it's the 700... Southwest Boulevard Club right there on the corner. It looks like a White Castle. Are you going to be like hosting these White Castle parties? I <laughs> I think so. I mean, that's the plan. They did a promo to see if they could work. they're trying to And they're and those parties are Monday nights. Monday nights after the show. Oh no. After, after oh, the show. it's actually oh. after the show. They yeah. said, "Listen, we want you so bad. We're not going to start the party till you get so here." Yeah. Done. I told them I couldn't be there till they're like, 10. "Listen here, 10 o'clock. They're like, "Fine, 10 it is." We were going to start like at, five, at 10, but, but you know what? Rena doesn't <laughs> show up till 1030. <laughs> it is the, the, the school year's hottest Monday night 10 o'clock party. It uh, who's, is. Who's going to these I I don't know. We'll see. I'm, Where is I'm this so, at? It's just right there on Southwest Boulevard. It looks like it's the on White the, Castle. It's on the corner it's on, of Duck and Cover. It's, on a, it's, a, it's <laughs> at the White Castle. It's right across La Bodega. Uh-huh. It's called, I think it's the 700 Southwest Boulevard. Boulevard. Well, who's putting it on? Reggie? Reggie Banks? Reggie Banks. You should get him in the studio talk to him about it. Well, I told him to because he just released his cosmetic collection Mm -hmm. and all that is is starting to come and he's doing it internationally. And I told him, why don't you come on the show? But he said he wants to wait until he gets the line in so he can show. We had salsa and cupcakes waiting for him. The line of cosmetics. Oh, line of cosmetics. He, yeah. he, he just got them. He sent me a picture. So as soon as he brings them in, he wants to have his go-to plan. Because I mm-hmm. keep telling him, I was like, come on the show. Come on the show. Come yeah. on the show. How'd that go? He said, fine. <laughs> That's it's a horrible impression. I'm sure I'll get him. doesn't sound well, You know like this it. guy, right? I think I've seen, uh, yeah, I think I know Reggie Banks. I think I know him. You I've seen him on the Facebook. I've yeah, he has Saji International. He has like a clothing company and a lingerie company. And Wait he, a second. So y- you're going to be modeling... Lingerie? No. On Monday nights at 10 no. o'clock. Definitely you not doing that. You could easily start just as a warm-up at 7. I'm trying <laughs> to... Like. Oh, goodness. I'm trying to make him make me the face. Like the mouthpiece, the face of his... Of Masaji. Of Saji International. Oh, Saji. But yeah. he's doing the makeup line, so I'm like, maybe I should be your well, face. One of you your You could faces. be the face, but how you, how's that work if you're, he wants you to wear lingerie? No, that does, I don't know about know. you, but that is not about the face. A, he, that's not going to happen. I'll do more no. of the clothing and the you'll makeup. Deny, and B, you'll, you'll deny work. Unless you want a Marilyn Monroe figure out there shaking booty and jiggling. I mean, if he was like selling jiggling. lingerie to a line of J-Lo's, you sound perfect. 
J-Lo's. No, I'm good. No? I'm not, You're going to turn down a paying gig? Well, it depends on how much. <laughs> okay. I, I would be so a little have skeptical a with the lingerie part. And you can be bought. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. If it's more swimming suit like. <laughs> well, we, I, I, later in the show here, uh, maybe uh, the next segment or so, I want to talk about this uh, uh, this new thing going around where uh, you can actually add West Nile. No, West Nile. No, uh, you can put uh, you can put a unique item on your wedding registry, <gasps> right? You have a wedding registry, right? Where Not are you yet. At? Not Wh- yet. Where are you going to register at? I don't know. I need help. You can put a wedding item on there. We need to talk about You mean this. you couldn't just put a wedding item on your registry normally? No, you can, but this is special because you can put a donation <gasps> to the Barack Obama campaign oh, on your wedding registry. Yay. So, hey, congratulations, guys. Getting, you I, just I, donated. In lieu of a George Foreman, I've donated $100 in your name to the re-elect Barack Obama campaign. Well, on a side note, Tyler and I got her comforter today. We got our bed sheets today. Putting we got the cart our, before the horse, don't you think? We got our towels. Wedding hasn't even arrived We got our yet. net gear internet, wireless internet Now that's when you know it's serious today? when together you purchase a wireless router. Oh, Although no. it's in his name. <laughs> Is it in his name? Well, the, the cable's in his name. The cable <laughs> internet's in his name and the electricity's in my name. She wanted the internet and the cable, <laughs> but make sure it's in his name. <laughs> We have got a good show <laughs> for you tonight. You know, uh, Andrea Lee, she stopped by the show uh, once or twice, right? Uh, uh-huh. back in Maxim the day. hometown hottie. She's going to be yep. on the show. She does uh, a thing in Hawaii. She lived in Hawaii forever. Yeah. I, I guess she's not there anymore. It's she's a in... recent move to Virginia. That's why she couldn't do the show last week is because she was still moving. She's and... moving. Yeah. Well, in Hawaii, she did uh, like Andrea's ex- excapades, and yeah. it was just awesome. You know, it was and really always... cool. Yeah, she was like hand gliding and, and uh, surfing, surfing all this cool <laughs> stuff, and interviewing folks over in Hawaii. Tough life, uh, you mm-hmm. know, that she's got uh, when she's I not know, right? uh, doing uh, different photo shoots and whatnot. But she's going to join us by phone, talk with her, and uh, catch up a little bit. Uh, Mute the idol going to be in studio tonight. Very excited about that. You know, last week. Mad Libby was on. That and was awesome. We always try to ask them, like, hey, you know, who else you know, would dig this show? You know, who would, and, and they said, oh, you guys got to get Mute the Idol on the show. They played at Collapse Fest, and we missed them out at Collapse Fest. But mm. uh, we're going to have them in studio tonight. Uh, going to talk with them, uh, figure out exactly uh, what is going on. And, of course, our buddy, our pal, <laughs> Steve Williams is going to be on the show tonight. So bar the door, Betty. Uh, you never know what uh, is going to happen one time, Steve came into the studio, and we both started laughing so much that I think we had to just cut the show short. Or like, you like sharded? We, just ended up, I, we may have sharded a little bit. <laughs> that was um, that Christmas show when I wasn't there, wasn't it? I know it was a long It was a long time ago. We were in a totally different studio, but uh, a lot more to talk about tonight on The Big Dumb Punch Show. Oh, yeah.